Hello everybody. I'd like to tell you about a computer problem that I had. I'm not going to mention any names of software. I'm so paranoid about saying anything and upsetting the YouTube people. Even though this is a positive, not a negative video, uh, I'm just not going to mention the software. But when I tell you about it, you probably can put two and two together and know exactly what I'm talking about. I do relational database management systems. Uh, that's what I did before I retired, and now I do it on a small scale using some software produced by one of the largest companies in the world and it's a fine piece of software to develop relational database management systems using the Visual Basic code. And I've been using it for years. My granddaughter gave me her laptop computer, which is practically brand new, she was going to upgrade. So when I got her laptop, I loaded the software on the laptop and went in there to uh, work on the application. And when I opened up the Visual Basic Editor, and if you've ever had this problem, I'll tell you how to solve it because I didn't know. When I opened up the Visual Basic Editor, I got an error message that I had never seen before, and I had a Visual C++ runtime library error. And immediately I knew that I had received an error that I was not going to be able to work around which I could not do. The only way that you could get out of the error message is to close the complete program down. So I was stumped. And rather than fool with it, I decided to go back to my old computer and complete the job that I was working on. And then I thought, well, you know, it would be much easier to go back. I'm going to try to solve this problem. So I searched around on the internet and could not satisfy the problem. So as a last resort, and I figured that I had a couple of uh, uh, technical calls that I could make without it costing me any money, which was the case. I had two remaining on the software. So I called the number, a lady answered, and I gave her my problem. And she couldn't solve my problem, so she connected me with another guy uh, located in a foreign country. He could speak English real well. And he and I conferred, and I told him, I said, now I only have one rule when we talk. You can put me on hold, but don't you ever put me on hold more than three minutes. And he said, no problem, I won't. So he placed me on, on hold. He said, I've got to check with someone else. And sure enough, before the three minutes uh, expired, he came back on and said, well, I've got to contact somebody else with this problem. So he put me on hold again, came back. I'm going to try to make this long story real short if I possibly can. And, uh, and he said, uh, that's beyond my capabilities to solve. He said, I'm going to put you on hold again because I'm going to contact someone else. So he put me on hold, and then when he came back, another man was on the phone with him, and this person was in Canada, the other guy was in India, and the three of us were talking. And I explained my information to the guy in Canada, and he said, I, I can't solve your problem. He said, the only thing I know to do is put you in contact with the people that developed the application or the software. And he said, I'm going to give you a four-hour time span, and I'll guarantee you that they will call you within this four-hour period. I said, that's fine, you know, having to call me. So he took my number and made a job request, 
and hung the phone up and I came in to fix something to eat and while I was eating the phone rang and I answered the phone and instantly when I heard the voice from the company that had developed the software and I gave this guy my YouTube account so if you're listening to this you know I'm talking about you I could tell from the sound of his voice that he was going to solve my problem. I mentioned in one of my videos, the one uh, that Ron and I did about uh, Dr. Feynman when he was uh, uh, breaking into the safes, you know a lot of times you're trying to look for a really, uh, well like this era, you would uh, think that it was really something that was going to be hard to fix and usually when you think something is really difficult it's one of the easiest things in the world to solve and I knew from the guy's the sound of the guy's voice he was going to solve my problem but let me tell you a little something before I tell you how the problem was solved when I loaded the software onto the computer that my granddaughter had given me she had a couple of printers hooked to it and they were still listed in the in the in the printer uh, setup and I had just purchased a new uh, printer and I had hooked it up to uh, the computer but being lazy when I would print when I would go to print I would just find the printer out of all the things that she had had hooked to that computer and just find my printer and click on it and print so I never did make that printer, the default printer. This problem I would have fixed by accident and if I had not have been using the printer and the Visual Basic Editor at the same time I would have never known how that problem was fixed. And as soon as the guy said do you have a printer <laughs> hooked to that laptop I knew instantly what the problem was. And there was an, an, an anomaly with one of the printers that was set as the default that my granddaughter had used and when I went into the Visual Basic Editor it was generating a C++ runtime, Visual C++ runtime error. So if you've ever received that error which is a spooky looking error just go in, make your current printer, your default printer and everything will be fine. So anyway, I talked to this guy no more than a minute and a half, and I told him, I said, that amazes me. And he said, well, you got to understand. He said, although in my database I've only had two instances of this uh, error that I have had to deal with, but he said, I knew what it was going to be when I, <laughs> when I gave you a call. So isn't that amazing? Just by making the printer, the default printer, rather than being lazy and not going in and setting the default, caused the C++ runtime error. Well, thank you very much for listening. I was a happy camper. Have a good day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.